So I've had this quad cortex for a few months now, and for the most part, I've been relying on neural captures to kind of be the main kind of amps and drive pedals and things like that um, for my tones. Um, you know, I've been using the um, uh, cab sims and delays and reverbs and things like that, but really been relying on those captures that either I created myself or that I downloaded through the neural app um, to kind of be the main part of the tone. So what I wanted to try to do is force myself to solely rely on the amp models that are available through the device and try out some of the different amps and see how they work um, in that mode. So um, what I've got today is a handful of uh, presets using different amps, um, all with a very similar structure to the presets so that we can kind of hear some of the differences between the amp models and, and maybe think about you know, which ones work best. Um, in terms of what I'm going for in a lead tone, you know, it's, you know, that Eric Johnson-y kind of thing. So it's, I want something with sustain and warmth and some thickness to it, but not overly distorted. Um, you know, I don't want a lot of hair on it. I like a very smooth attack, that kind of thing. I don't think it's very unusual. Um, so the way I've got it set up to do that is each of the presets is going to look very similar to this. I've got a, a, a an adaptive gate on the front, um, nothing extraordinary here just to keep it from hissing too much when I'm not playing. Um, I've got a solid state compressor um, with a mix of about 60%. Again, just trying to smooth out that attack, increase the sustain without having to have too much distortion. Um, I'm stacking um, an obsessive drive in front of uh, each of the amps, um, drive at four, volume at six, and then I'll tweak the tone based on the kind of sonic characteristics of the amps. Um, I've tried some of the other ones like the OD250 and there's, there's other um, overdrive pedals in, in the device that, that might work for this. For me, the Assessive Drive works best, um, but you can obviously pick different uh, pedals for this. But I find that stacking uh, an overdrive pedal in front of an already overdriven amp is the best way to get that kind of um, you know, thick tone without having too much um, kind of distortion and, and kind of too much hair on the tone. Uh, for this specific one, I'm using a Marshall Plexi, um, uh, you know, gains about halfway, uh, you know, bass bend treble, tweaked a little bit, really just mostly the, the biggest thing here is pulling the presence back, um, again, just to uh, kind of tame some of the Marshall top end. Um, from there, I'm going to a cap sim. For all, for all these presets, I'm using the same cap sim. It's a, I think it's a Mesa Boogie 4x12 with the 30s in it. Um, I'm not tweaking really the positioning at all for the for the mics. Um, I do have a, a high cut on again to try to tame some of that top end, um, and really I'll just adjust this frequency here. Um, you know, each amp is slightly different as to how much top end's there, and so I'll tweak it for that. And then after that, all I'm doing is I'm running a, a, a dual tape delay into a slight room reverb, um, just to give it some ambience. So. Here, let's hear this Marshall uh, Plexi. Um, so the the total patch sounds like this. And just so you can hear the, the difference, if I take off the overdrive pedal, the Marshall by itself is like this. So you can hear it's got it's got distortion on it, um, but it's it's not terribly overdriven. It's really when you layer in the um, obsessive drive that it thickens up. So. So I think that's a good start. Obviously, it, Marshall Plexi, I think it, it fits really well for this kind of tone. Um, but let's try some other amps. So the next one I tried is, this is a Mesa Boogie Lone Star. And so I'm using the 100 watts. Um, you know, the Mesa Boogies, the, the bass can get pretty uh, um, booming. So uh, I've got the bass dialed back to two. Um, drives at about four and um, it sounds like this. Just so you 
can see it, I've got the tone on the Asepsa Drive up a little bit because the, the Mesa definitely is a kind of a softer tone um, with not as much kind of um, bite in the high end. Um, and then on the on the high cut frequency, I've got that up a little bit again, just because there's not as much high end on it. So I didn't need to kind of detain that. Uh, if I turn off the Obsessive Drive, this is what it sounds like on its own. <laughs> much of a difference um, other than the amp um, but you can already hear it's it's the tonal characteristics are very different um, the the Lone Stars is a lot smoother um, it it almost feels like it wants more presence but whenever I try to add more presence to it um, it starts to to lose some of the EQ balance um, and so I like it but you know it, it's I don't know. Uh, uh, it's not quite right. So from there, um, another amp I tried is uh, this PV505. And so this is a higher gain amp. You can see the gain here is only at two. Um, like the Marshall, it's kind of trebly, so I've got the tone dialed back. Um, I, do, I don't have the frequency in the high cut um, as low. Let's hear what that sounds like. Sound of the PV. I think it works really well for this. Um, I think it mixes some of the best of, of the Marshall with what the, the Lone Star was doing. Um, I think it's a little smoother than the Marshall, but um, still kind of lively and, and has a good presence to it. Um, the other amp I tried is, um, uh, uh, Saldano here. Uh, so here I'm using the, the 100 watt, um, in crunch, um, gain is turned up quite a bit. Uh, if you hear what that sounds like without... So again, the tone's dialed back um, a little bit on the O-Drive pedal just because this amp has a little more trouble response to it. one works really well uh, like the PV they're very similar in tone I think that the Soldano has maybe a little bit more of a scoop to it in the mid-range um, and so that gives it makes it sound a little bit thinner but also um, uh, a little bit more clarity to it so um, I like this as well quite a bit um, again, it's, I think it's very close to the PV, but, um... It, uh, it, it has its own kind of voice to it. Um, and then the, the last one I tried is, I wanted to go back to the Marshall. And so instead of the Plexi, what I'm using here is the, um, the JTM45. Um, and if you know this, th this Marshall is, is much less kind of, doesn't have that 
what became the typical kind of Marshall top end. It's a, it's much smoother amp. Um, so you can see on this one, the presence more up, um, as is the, the tone on this is way up. is way to put it um uh i i do like this it, it's it's got a smoothness to it that um it's it, it's pretty close to the lone star actually in terms of kind of the the, the treble um maybe it feels a little muffled like the lone star does doesn't have quite the clarity as say the PV or the Sodano have. Um, but again, I, I, you know, I like it quite a bit. Um, as you can see, the, the, the different settings is less treble, so I've got some of those settings pulled back. <laughs> together so this is a patch I created where I'm running um, the, the PV in mix with the Lone Star interesting to kind of mix the um you know kind of the smoothness of the lone star with maybe a little bit more of the um the clarity or and, and treble that, that the pv brings um i thought it was it was a good mix <laughs> didn't you like and, and, and why. Um, I'm going to continue to kind of play around with the different amps and, and try to find one that I think works best for me, but um, definitely would be interested in your opinion. Um, thanks for watching.